Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Mace Windu from Star Wars. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself, then get us going. All right, here we go. So I'm going to do this one with the robes. And uh, I've done it, it, his the, the typical Jedi costume is, you know, the same V V robe, the hanging down skirt part, uh, leggings and boots, you know, so since I've pretty much done that for, you know, any Jedi, I think I'm going to try different stuff. And so this one, um, I think, yeah, I think the robes are going to be better, you know, so let's, let's, let's play around with the positioning and then I'll just add, you know, the, the drapes, ropes, ropes, drapes, robes, and a uh, normal Jedi outfit. Okay, so, oh, and also I think I'm gonna do a little something different with his hand. I think I'm gonna do it like this a little bit. So see how this one's more foreshortened at you? When you draw it, it's gonna look a little weird, but it's gonna look very dynamic with the fingers kind of curled in like this, just a little bit. So just, just, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. I gotta sketch this out real fast. In, and in like that so like I said it's gonna look a little strange in the uh, in the ink but it's just like that sometimes we're so used to seeing things every single day the human body the head uh, stuff like that that if you draw it in a in an odd position your eye is automatically gonna say that's not right but if you're looking at it in that position every day you don't question it because it's the whole uncanny valley thing you know like uh, when people make uh, 3d um, uh, videos movies things like that it's hard to make uh, people because it, it's called the uncanny valley you you could tell your eye can tell something is off and so it's kind of hard to do correctly so we're just going to kind of have to take that into account whenever we, we get there. So, okay, so that works. Um, let me give him some more details here. So one of the features, one of the things to remember is his robe here. Let me beef him up a little bit. He's a little thin here. Okay, so hang on. You know what? Let me, let me start adding in the details. And this will give me... Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm scanning, flipping through. Yeah, so same thing. He's almost wearing the exact same thing as as Anakin. Or I'm sorry, Obi Wan. Or I guess Anakin too. That is just a belt, and uh, you know the the V the V robes. Is what I call these little uh, wraps that go around that come down to the skirt part, and um, the V robes and and long shirt that makes the skirt and it looks, it's exactly the same so yeah i think i think uh the the bigger robe even though it's just a you know drapes there's not much we're going to be doing it's going to be a little different than what we've done before so we'll kind of play around with with uh with what we can do now the the easy part is there's not much we're going to have to do because it's uh Pretty much, pretty much just drapes. Okay. Um, okay, that looks about right. Let me draw some features here. So if it's legs coming down here, boot, boot. I lost my words there. We'll drape it around like that. There we go. That'll make it a little more. A little more dynamic, right? Um, 
there. And, uh, and we'll show what we can show, but the rest will be covered up. All right, is everybody enjoying the Clone Wars so far? Uh, hopefully at this point. <laughs> hopefully at this point, by the time... You know, I'm going to stick that leg out a little bit more. By the time this comes out, Clone Wars are in full force. And that's exciting. Oh, and so, you know, hey, this is a good example of, of you know, how I draw, you know, actual real technique, is I just throw lines down until I get what I'm seeing in my head. And it's basically, it's sketch drawing. So, um, you just, you just throw the lines down until you see it. And, uh, that's kind of what I just did right now. It didn't look right to me, so I, oh! Something else we're gonna do. It didn't look right to me, so I just kept sketching until it looked right. And those confident lines are what we're gonna stick with. Uh, you know what? Something else we're gonna do here. I forgot about this. For the lightsaber, I'm going to not draw. Okay, so wait. I have it. I'm gonna have it holding in one hand, going across the body. And there, we're going to not draw across his body. So, let's see. Hang on. Let me let me get this sketch out to get it in the right position, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe a little bit further out like this. There we go, there we go. Um, so when we ink it, we're going to not draw all the way across, or, or we're not gonna continue the, the lines all the way across because of the way we're inking. Now, um, it, that's gonna come more into play whenever we like I said, switch over to Sharpie. But I just wanted to give you a heads up that that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so that being said, it's gonna cut right across there. I'm not gonna use a Sharpie for the actual, I mean, a, a straight edge for the actual lightsaber, but I wanted to draw so I can continue the line perfectly in the right spot. Yeah, pretty much this is going to be robes, so I don't have to worry too much about about detail here, right? We're, we're almost ready to go. Okay, because that's going to be a robe. Cut across, back like that, over his head like that. Okay, so now let me just add the detail of his face real fast. This is where it's going to be a little trickier because I am not a uh, um, um, caricature artist. I can get poses, I can I can place things, but it's hard for me to get it to look like actual people. So I I'm not going to exactly make it look like Samuel L. Jackson. I'm going to try but that's not my raison d'etre. Um, maybe I should practice more, right? That's what we're, we're here to do is practice, practice our skills. But not today, today's about drawing the, the positioning, the pose, right? Not bad. Okay. Now here's here's the hard part is he's got a very round head, very pointed chin, and more of a round head, but I have to try to figure out how to do it 
without making it way too big, you know? And I can't turn my paper. That's the easiest thing to do whenever you're drawing is turn your paper, you know, where it's easy for your hand to go, but I can't do that. This is taped down so I can uh, record this video. I think that'll work. That's not bad. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Uh, I think I'm ready to switch over to Sharpie. Let me just erase some of these. Uh, let me fix my paper, not tape down. Erase some of these sketch lines. We want to stick with confidence, not the sketchy lines. You always want to work with confidence, not, some, not with sketchiness. That's how it is in life, right? So I'm going to lightly erase. So I'll leave myself a ghost of an image that I usually make with a special computer. But today I'm just going to use an eraser. And there you go. I think that's enough without erasing too much that I can follow and get us there. Okay. So let's welcome everybody that skipped to this portion because not everybody likes to watch the sketch and that's usually just for me. So ooh, we're falling behind. We are behind. Let's get going. So let's welcome everybody. Welcome skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every single day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. So. I'm going to start with the Sharpie pen. I've sketched the entire thing out and I've erased the majority of it. So I just have a ghost of an image that I can work with. And just to give you a heads up, we're not going to draw where the lightsaber is. We're going to stop at a certain point. So when we color it, we can add the glow and the, the black won't stand out over the glow. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get going. So for now, I'm going to get going on the face and start with the eyes. And I talked about this in the sketch that I'm not a caricature artist, so I'm going to get as close looking to Samuel L. Jackson as I can, but I'm not going to be 100%. So I'm going to start off with the top of the lids, like this, just to see if I've got them in the right spot. It looks like I do, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add the iris, kind of round like this, another round one like this, and I'm going to add just a little bit of a dot for a pupil because these Sharpies will bleed and I can only draw so much. For instance, I can't draw the underside of the eye or it'll bleed too much, so I'm gonna imply it just a little bit. I'm gonna come back and just add a little tuck in like that, tuck in like that. That way the iris, the color part of the eye, is implying the bottom of the eye right there. Okay? So, now I'm gonna play around with some of the lines I can draw because he is kind of a grouchy, angry old man, right? So I'm gonna give him his eyebrows like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of uh, um, old old man eye lines in here. You know, just a little bit of something. Oops, that might be too much. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. Um, there we go, something like that. And so that's about all I can really do for his eyes. Anything else is gonna go a little bit too, a little too, too much line. So let's keep going. So I'm gonna draw his nose down here and I'm just gonna draw his nostrils. I'm gonna come in here like this, like that. And I wanna draw the bulb of his nose a little bit more, just a, just a touch like that. And that's all I'm gonna do for that. Now I'm gonna to go to the mouth, okay? So I'm gonna give him kind of a pouty, angry mouth. Something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw the top of his lid because it is very pronounced. But the bottom, I'm just gonna do like that. Just a little bit of a highlight, just to show there's a bottom of the lip. And he does have these, these uh, old man angry scowl lines. I've got him too, so I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying, look, that's, that's what we got. We're old men, we're, uh, we're angry. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of a bridge of a nose like that. So now I can draw his chin down here. He's got kind of a pronounced chin. It's a very, very, very nice divot. And I'm going to start to thicken it up too because when I switch over to this Sharpie, it's going to really be different. It's going to be really thick. So I'm going to kind of allow for that. All right, so I'm going to draw his chin up to his cheekbones, his chin, his jawline up to his cheekbones. And again, thicken it up just a little bit. And I'm going to go the opposite way here because I'm a good puller, not a pusher. Okay, so same thing. Thicken it up just a little bit. Oh, 
All right, looking good. How's yours looking? Awesome. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna add the ears. It's gonna kind of come in like this, and I guess I'm gonna tuck it in right to the side of his head. I'm gonna add the other ear over here. Something like that. Again, I'm gonna thicken it up just for my own sake. If you're working with pencil, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing it to allow for what's about to happen. So now, I talked about this during the sketch. Yeah, he's got kind of a big round head, but I gotta be careful not to go too crazy, right? So, I think that looks about right. Okay, and I'm gonna round it off over here like this. Oops, kind of bumped. But here's what we can do. Uh, if you have bumps like this, you just thicken it up on whichever side you need to match. So, that's the nice thing about thickening up some of these lines is we can kind of hide mistakes. So what I did was I went under here and over there, and it's just a, a re-inking technique to try to smooth out some of your mistakes. So see, there you go, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of a brow line or a, 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 a ridge line, I guess, to his head, and I'm done there. I'm gonna move on to the rest of it and uh, be happy with it. Sorry, I'm trying to get my picture back. My picture disappeared here. Um, where is a good one? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna draw his robes, and he's got a uh, uh, the big main robe on, and like I said, I'm gonna stop at the lightsaber. So let's draw down to his arm, and then we can work our way across, okay? So his neck is covered up by his robes, his old Jedi robes. I'm gonna kinda do something like this, and that's just leading into the, uh, the wraps that are, are covering him. And he's got his hood on, his uh, his Jedi robe hood, because you know it's it's hanging down to the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something like this, and that's where it's gonna be hanging down. Now I'm gonna bring it over to the back. I'm gonna tuck it in like this, and that's where it's gonna be wrapped around like that. So that means I can draw his. We'll go ahead and give him a center line like this for where everything's gonna be connected, right? That's the nice thing about these robes is it's it's pretty much just draped. Uh, robbery, you know, just just uh, folds and and increases, and that's my favorite thing. So here's one side of the arm, I'm gonna come in like this, and I want to stop right there because I want to draw the hand, and then I could draw the lightsaber. So the thing about the lightsaber is you got to remember you're not drawing just a knuckle like this. You got to draw it's holding something. So basically, if you're holding, oh, oops, I'm sorry, wrong lightsaber. If you're holding. <laughs> If you're holding something like that, your knuckles are around. You're not just flat, you know? So we're gonna draw just a little bit of this and some down there just to give it a, uh, a shape, okay? So I'm gonna draw the top of the knuckles right here. Come down like that. And I'm gonna draw this finger up a little bit and these are gonna be down. So I'll add the detail in a second. I'm just gonna do it with the big Sharpie first and then come back in and add some detail. Okay, now I want to do all this first because this is on the topmost layer of everything. Okay, let me find a picture of his lightsaber. That's what I need. Thumbs tucked in like that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of detail. Get out of here, pencil. And so we'll do a knuckle up like this, but these are going to be down like that. And there you go. So something like that. It's kind of hard to see right now because of this, this Sharpie the way it is, but uh, um, that's that's the idea of what we're going for, okay? So let's go ahead and draw his lightsaber real fast and then we'll, we'll I'll show you what I was talking about. Um, so let me just draw the edge, just coming out like this. Something like that. I'm gonna add just a little bit of detail just because got pictures here and we can have a little bit of fun I mean it is a lightsaber right okay let me draw the back end real fast something like that and a little bit of an end like that it's hard to draw a lot of detail with these big fat sharpies but the idea 
is that we're drawing with things you have around your house, you know? I don't want you to have to go out and buy a bunch of supplies. That's great if you did, but you don't have to, okay? So, for a lightsaber, I like to draw just bits of the edge. So we're just gonna kinda go across and skip. Go across and skip. So, something like that. There we go. So, now that I have that, see how I stopped there? That's the whole idea. So now we're just gonna draw robes and go down, but we're not gonna draw all the way to the edge because when I draw the glow, or color the glow, it'll stand out as opposed to trying to go over these black lines. So, right, so let's just get going here. So let's cover up his hand with the edge of the robe. We're gonna come down here, do like that. And let's add just some creases and folds like this. And that's the nice thing about robes is it's just nothing but folds, you know? So we can add lines. And again, look how I'm, see I'm stopping before I get to that. It'll make more sense as we color it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue his shirt in like this. And his belt would be right here, but again, it's kind of disappearing behind the lightsaber, so there's only so much we're gonna draw anyway. So let's continue this down here. We're gonna draw his big old sleeve hanging down. And then he's got his Jedi sleeve. We'll say that's a little bit bigger, the, the robe sleeve. Like that. I don't know why I did that edge. Draw, draw it curved, don't draw an edge. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so something like that. So see, again, stop before you get there. It'll make sense later. So this robe's gonna come down around his leg and disappear back behind him because I got this edge tucked in, okay? And um, let's let's continue this side over here. So I'm gonna draw the hood over here like that, just like we did over there. And this one's hanging down like this, okay? So what you see over here are his robes. Here is his sleeve. So I'm gonna draw this corner right here, that's the edge. And I'm gonna come down here. Again, stop before you get there. And I'll continue it down. The robe. Stop. I can draw the sleeve. Like that. Well, that's a little bit long, actually, right? That should have been a little bit smaller, but that's okay. That is all right. Let's add some, some creases and folds. But again, I'm gonna stop before I get there. So anything that's gonna go into the lightsaber stays. Uh, uh, invisible disappears a little okay there we go um, let me add some more of these well that's one thing I really like drawing is creases and folds I should do a torture tutorial about turtles doing tutorials and tories and torts anyway <laughs> a tutorial about creases and folds that's what I was trying to say Okay, so now I'm gonna draw his hand, and his hand I talked about in the sketch, I kinda have it like this. So these fingers are gonna be tucked in, and it's gonna look a little odd in your drawing, but it'll make sense in the long run, okay? So I'm gonna draw his hand, or his thumb, like this. And I'm following my sketch, so I can draw his middle finger, or first finger like this. Little, middle finger is tucked in a little, so it's not as tall as it should be. Same thing with the ring finger, tucking that in a little bit. Same thing with the pinky finger tucked in like that. Now, like that, it looks strange, right? Like he's got fingers cut off, but we're gonna come in and add some, some bends. So he's got, you know, bends in the fingers. There's the middle bend like that. We're gonna, we're gonna bend that in. And we're going to uh, add some, some lines right there because his fingers are all tucked in like that. So see how, like this, See how it makes more sense? It, it's, it's, that pinky is almost straight at, looks like a nub, but the way you're drawing, you just add those curves and that'll help you guide where uh, the look of it is. Okay? I'm gonna add a little detail of that thumb, something like that. All right, there we go. So now we can move on. So again, it's just creases and folds from here on out. We just gotta remember that there's a belt right there, but it's kind of covered up now by uh, 
with a lightsaber. So we're not doing it. We're just gonna move on to his robe, which is coming down here like this. Pick it back up, come down. And I've got it over his shoe like this, like that. Up, dynamic, and one more time. And stop before you get to the top, remember? All right, so now I'm just gonna add just a little bit of extra just to, you know, show some kind of uh, um, dynamic uh, uh, robe bending. And so now we're gonna draw his folds from his shirt hanging down like this. His V folds is what I call them. Another one up like this. His skirt, which is not really a skirt, it's just the, the insides of his shirt. Just kind of hang it down like that. Now I'm gonna draw his legs to his boots. Like that, I'll add some detail on that in a second. I'm gonna draw this boot down. The other side like this. Down to the front. Now let's add a little bit of detail to flesh it out, so to speak. So I'm gonna add some creases and folds just to show that he's got uh, cloth there and it can uh, bend the material. Some creases to his boot here, just to show again, bends in that. And let's do, let's just do a few little lines like this, just to show the, the, uh, the um, creases in, or the, the, the folds in his robes just to give it a little bit of something, you know, a little, a little fleshing it out, like we said. Okay. So now we're just gonna finish up the robe that's hanging over and then this boot. So the robe is behind him, and so it's tucked in back there, so it's just hanging back like that. Gonna go up, there's the inside, like that. And then I'm just gonna draw his boot. Pretty simple, right? Let's draw a little bit of detail back there. And come in like this where his other pant would be. Another boot, but that's kind of disappearing back there and that's all you can see. So there you go. I say, oops, let's do a few more, a few more, then we'll do color. So I'm gonna do a few more little lines like this just to accent the cloth. And there you go. So I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Mace Windu from Star Wars. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.